Hey, Lane Party Gamers. Welcome to Comic-Con International. And uh, obviously, we've got the LAN party room. And uh, if you want to check out the video where we show you how we're doing our LAN party here at the Convention Center, you can check that out here on our channel. But for now, we're going to walk around the con and we're going to see what other gaming events and activities you can do here at Comic-Con International and see how it's different from last year's event. So let's take a walk. Come on. Hey guys, we're at the Nintendo Gaming Lounge and this is one of the biggest events for uh, Comic-Con here. We're actually looking at Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Switch and of course Nintendo is super proud to announce this because it has every single character from every Super Smash game that has ever come out. So if you have a favorite character, it will be in this game. Uh, as long as they've been in a previous Smash game, of course. Uh, we're looking at a lot of other stuff in the, in the con floor here and it's really exciting. There's a line around the block or inside the hotel here to get in and everybody wants a piece of this Nintendo action. So we're gonna take a little bit of Super Smash Brothers. We're gonna take a look at some of the other Switch games that are going on and some Pokemon stuff that they're doing here as well. So let's take a look around the Super Smash and Nintendo area. So this is the Nintendo Labo. This is a new creative way for kids to not only play with their Nintendo Switch, but create real life things in order to get into the game it allows you to make things that learn how to use the game and then from then it allows them to make their own devices from what they've learned making the things that are already built in. So kind of like Lego bricks, you can make what's on the box, you can make what you bought or you can take those parts apart and make something entirely different out of that same box. So they really encourage learning, they, learn, they really encourage building and how you can use your Switch and the sensors within it to really come out of the game and into real life. It's really cool to watch kids play with these real life toys. Okay, well we're here at the uh, Nintendo booth still and obviously we've got Overcooked 2, one of our favorite indie games. You may have seen us play it on stream on our uh, channel but this is pretty cool. It's exciting to see that these indie games are popular enough to continue their story. And uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing Overcooked 2 coming onto the Switch. And of course, we'll be playing it here on Steam uh, at our LAN parties. So this is, a, this is a great game. If you haven't gotten a chance to play Overcooked 1, you can get that on Steam right now. Check it out. This is the Pokemon Plus Ball. This is a controller for both the uh, Nintendo Switch new game, Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. It's also a adapter for your phone over Bluetooth that lets you uh, get more points in Pokemon Go. You can do things like cast your Pokemon out or you can uh, battle using this controller. It's pretty cool, it's got a button on the front that changes color and it tells you exactly who's inside. This one's got Eevee in it and if you shake it, you can just slightly hear Eevee say hi. So it's pretty cool that they're broadening their Pokemon with the current generation, bridging the phone game with the Switch game and bringing it into real life. We're here at the uh, Orange County Pinball Room. This is all Stern machines, but they're brought to us by Orange County Pinball. And this is a room where you can come in and it's just pinball. It's great for people that really love pinball, being able to see how alive uh, the entire hobby and, and, and we've got people that are doing live streaming on Twitch uh, here just for pinball. It's really cool to see. And uh, if you take a look at all the people having a great time here at Comic-Con, something a little different, but they're still having a great time and playing games and something we'd like to see only here at Comic-Con. Really cool. We're here at the eSports area at Comic-Con. This is the first time eSports has ever shown its face here in the convention. And uh, here at the eSports area, we've got about 30 desktops playing fighting games from Dragon Ball to uh, Street Fighter and of course, Injustice. It wouldn't be Comic-Con without seeing Green Lantern and Batman go at it. Uh, we've got an area on stage where people can go up you just sign up and you're able to get on the stage. You don't have to be a pro to get up there and feel like one. 
and they're playing for prizes, they're playing for glory, and they're just having a good time doing it. Not really competitive, but just enough to taste what it's like to be in that eSports limelight. And they've got quite the uh, process here. They've got a lot of equipment to show off, and uh, they're having just a good time here in the eSports area at Comic-Con. Well, it wouldn't be gaming at Comic-Con without talking about our own room. We've got the very first PC gaming ballroom at the convention. We're very proud to announce uh, that this year we have been invited to bring our LAN to Comic-Con. So if you come back next year, we hope you see you there. But we've got about 30 computers, including our custom-made systems, our Ryzen systems, as well as Microsoft Store lending us their systems to bring old school LAN party offline gaming to Comic-Con International and we couldn't be more proud to be doing it here. Uh, we've got Rocket League tournaments, we've got couch co-op tournaments, we're playing Quake 3 right now and we haven't had an empty seat practically all weekend. So we sure hope we get the chance to keep bringing this back and keep going with PC gaming and bringing it bigger and bigger every year. Uh, we're in the mezzanine this year and hopefully we get to see you back here next year, if you're at Comic-Con, we'd love to see you here in the PC Gaming Ballroom. So just like our November Lanathon, we've got the same rolling cart server that we use that we showed off on our server uh, walkthroughs in our previous video. But this time around, we've got our audio equipment. Eli is running our live stream, and on, because we don't have internet, we have our own spectating area. We've got our own stage, and of course, we've got our projector up on the wall so that when people aren't playing in the tournament or playing on free play, they have the ability, using NDI, to stream any screen in the room onto our wall. We've got our own sound stage here where we can have our people with mics and uh, really announce things to the crowd. And we even had uh, awesome hardware with Paul's Hardware and Kyle from Bitwit up here on our stage doing our meet and greet for uh, all of the PC gamers that came in and enjoyed this room this weekend. It was a real pleasure working with those guys and hopefully we'll get them back at Comic-Con again in the future. So this is our sponsor area. These partners have really helped us make this room a success, what it could be. We've got our Microsoft partners who helped us out with our equipment rentals. Uh, we've got obviously Cougar and Sades and EBGA providing prize support. And we've got HTC bringing over our, their Vives, giving us the ability to run VR in a way that you wouldn't be able to do on the convention floor. Our wait times in the room are maybe half an hour to an hour, whereas I've seen on the convention floor many, many more doubled that uh, just to get a, a small glimpse of what we're able to do up here in the PC gaming room. So thanks a lot to all the partners and sponsors that we've got this year here in our Comic-Con PC gaming room. I hope you enjoyed our gaming at Comic-Con coverage and we loved being here. We loved being the first ever uh, PC gaming ballroom hosts here inside the convention center. If you came and saw us, make sure you let us know down in the comments. We love hearing from people that we met here at our events. And if you're a convention host yourself and you want to have us come out, be, feel free to give us a call and let us know that you'd like to have PC gaming at your event too. Uh, make sure if you like seeing uh, event covers like this and you like following us along on our adventures, you hit that subscribe button and uh, you give this video a like. It helps us out a lot. And uh, we hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.